This is an overview video of CurationSoft 3.0. Uh, we're going to start out with the features uh, that are now available in the new version of CurationSoft, and then we're going to go to uh, an old post that I made with a previous version of CurationSoft, show you what it used to be able to do, and how we can make much better, much more engaging posts with the new 3.0 version. So starting out, we've got, of course, Mac and Windows compatibility, and we now have 18 content sources, including Google Blogs, Facebook, eBay, and Amazon for monetization. Instagram to add to the number of choices that you have for images. We've got Google Plus. That's a new one for 3.0. You can curate from there. Also, Wikimedia, Faru Web Search. This is another search engine. Uh, Wikipedia Pages, Google News, Bleco uh, Blogs and News, Twitter, YouTube, Flickr, SlideShare, and of course you can always add RSS feeds from any source that you like. We've also got the ability to post to Facebook, Tumblr, WordPress, and Blogger through CurationSoft now. And so those are some of the new highlights of CurationSoft 3.0. Here's a post I made really quickly. This looks pretty familiar. You can drag a bunch of stuff over and there you go. Lots of lots of text, lots of links. That's cool and all, but the CurationSoft 3.0 version can make this a lot better. So that's what we're going to do next is show you how I'm going to make this exact same post look a lot better. Okay, so here we are inside the new CurationSoft 3.0 and when you're in the post builder now, this is the post builder on the right and on the left are my results. I'm searching Google blogs for Google Hummingbird, the Hummingbird update for the Google search engine. And that's what this story is about. And you'll notice that this is the same as what we had earlier over here basically so those are all my sources it looks okay I mean it's it's good it's curation and all but it could be better much much better and that's what curation soft is giving us now so in order to give you an overview of some of the new stuff that's been added to curation soft and how we can make a post like this one much much better uh, I'll go through some of the controls here. One that you'll notice is that there's a little expand button on your results now. So you can click on expand and it will show in a little mini browser the actual article in question. So you can do lots of things here. Now that you can hit the expand button and go to the actual post in question, you can grab snippets of anything that you want. Uh, you can grab the link from the result, select read more, add the link right there and now you've got a result that nobody else is gonna get so basically the bottom line more control so expand and collapse on everything you can do this with YouTube videos you can watch the YouTube videos right here as it goes and does the same exact search for Google Hummingbird without changing anything if you wanna see what this video is all about just expand it and you can watch the video and vet them here uh, if it's not the right video you just collapse it keep going through until you find the videos that you want to use one of the things that people have asked for is the ability to do columns so you can kind of make this look like a magazine and we'll show you what that looks like it'll make this look a lot more readable it won't look like a mm, a list of results from a search engine which essentially that's what this big thing is right here so we can take these um, and and move them into a two column format like this. We have the new post builder templates. So now you have a two column, three column, and one row table here. And you have two column div and three column div, and you can make two and three columns. Okay, so let's uh, make two column div. Actually, let's go back to Google, Google Blogs. And this is selected. You can see what's selected by the color, and it's blue. If you put your cursor where you want it in your post builder, in your post builder area, two column div is already selected, add result to post builder. All right, so now you've got this result here and I can do that again and again, go down and you can see how this is different. Here's all the results up here. Here is a two column result. I like the two column because basically all my blogs are around 600 pixels wide in the content area so this will look really nice but you can do uh, three column and that would be useful for different sources like pictures um, YouTube videos would be very small they resize automatically and they'd be very small in a three column uh, but they work in a two column so let's try that let's do YouTube 
And uh, let's do this. The post builder is still on two column div. Just add result to post builder. You'll see that, of course, you can't watch the video yet because you're in the editor, but that will be live on the site and it will fit within this two column area. So I've got that video there. I'll add this video as well. And you can see now I've got two results from Google search and two results from uh, YouTube on the Hummingbird update. So really, really cool, powerful stuff. And here's something really cool that you can do as well. If you don't like what you've seen, you just, you're just done with the whole thing. You just can't take it anymore. You can click this little button and clear everything out and start over. So now you can do the same thing. You can start now with the videos if you'd like. Add result. Add result. And now you're starting to build videos here. And uh, you can mix and match all kinds of things. So it's really cool to be able to have this kind of control. The control now is granular. You can expand. You can look at all of these things. You've got post builder templates where you can do all kinds of things with tables, column divs. Uh, and in the settings, you get a lot of really cool options now as well, such as in your sources tab, you can control what comes over in the sources, such as Google blogs. What I showed you over here on the post is basically the, the default setting is you've got the title, which links to the post, and you've got the main source URL, and you've got the date and the time and all of that, and then here's the rest of it. And then it starts over, title, source date time and the description I personally don't like that as much as just giving it this link uh, cutting all of this stuff out it would, I used to have to do that by hand uh, now I can do that over here in creation soft by controlling what the template is when you drag and drop or bring in results to your post builder so that's very cool and you've got all the sources here when you curate from any of these sources the result will always look the same and it'll look exactly how you want it to look if you want to control how black Hole blogs curates to your site you can take out the date you can take out the title uh, which you wouldn't want to do but you can control all of this stuff the short URL so that however you get the job done of citing your source is up to you and how you want that to look is now within your control uh, and you don't have to accept what was just set up as the default in previous versions of CreationSoft. Very, very cool. You also notice that Facebook has been added. You can uh, check out people, pages, events, groups, places, all of that stuff and curate from Facebook. You've got uh, the basically set up for your, um, your blogs in WordPress. That's not new. But you can set up, if you have 10 blogs, you can set up 10 blogs to post straight from the post builder and never have to go and open up WordPress if you don't want to. You can post to Blogger and you can post to Tumblr through CurationSoft. And we've also got Instagram for more pictures. So giving yourself a lot more ability with Instagram to find the pictures that you want, the, the, the pictures that you need. And of course you can control search. Uh, those are all the tabs from the previous versions of CreationSoft. So back to this post. I'm gonna keep this. I'm just going back to the original post and we're gonna build a new one, a better looking one here inside the post builder. So I wanna start out with videos. I think that's more impactful. I think when people see that uh, the content they're about to read is something they can also watch and it won't take them much time, helps to keep people on the page, which helps your search engine rankings <laughs> because the longer people stay, the less likely they're gonna be a bounce, which Google counts. So we've got that. Um, now down below, I can do all kinds of different stuff. So going back to the post builder and trying to create something new and, and better out of this, uh, what we wanna do is go with all of our other sources and do the same thing. Uh, and we can keep going with this. Select one that you want, and if you need to know what it is, just expand on it, and it will show where it came from. Of course, I respect everything that this guy does, ran Fishkin on Ma's blog, so I know that that's gonna be a good result. I'm gonna go ahead and take that selection and add it as well. So there it is. So now you're starting to get a magazine format, which is really, really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna make this my post. It's gonna be prettier, it's gonna be easier to get through. Uh, people are gonna go, wow, this is, this is really good content. They're going to engage with it more likely uh, than before when it looked like an aggregated post rather than a curated post. So I'm going to click post. Uh, I'm going to give it a title. So now these tags are going to go exactly where your tags on your blog go. I'm going to pick a category and go down to the proper category for this. And I'm going to set the status to 
draft. I don't want it to go up yet. I just want to show the result because I already put the other one up. You can also set the time. All of this is uh, not Curation Soft 3.0 editions. These have been here, but very cool, very powerful that I could do all my curation for the week and have everything set to go at different intervals throughout the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way through the weekend at specific times. Uh, and that is very, very powerful. You can get everything, get all your work done for the week and uh, just be out marketing and doing all the other things that you need to do. Uh, so I'm going to hit publish and it's going to send it to my blog at contentdesk.com. So now let's see what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to do a preview. Okay, so here's what this would look like if this was live. This is a preview and you get to see uh, all the content getting pulled from YouTube and descriptions and everything which is really good for search, adds to the content on the page. So you've got the videos and then the two uh, results under that. Makes for a really cool post. This is everything that CurationSoft did right here. So that versus this, remember this old boring post? Now we've got two columns, uh, much more interesting way of looking at the site, uh, of interacting with the content. The bottom line with CurationSoft 3.0 is control. And what gives me the feeling of more of an enterprise level uh, software than it's ever been before. Very, very cool. Very, very powerful. So let's talk about monetization. There's some new monetization features in CurationSoft 3.0 uh, as sources, just like Google Blog Search, just like YouTube. You now have the ability to check out uh, Amazon and eBay products that are related to your searches. I'm going to make some neat affiliate links to content on Amazon on Google Hummingbird update what you need to know that would be really great to put into this post just because that's basically how I built the post so Google's gonna see that and give me more relevance points for that so I love this so let's make that part of this post you can go down and see there it is customer reviews and check out all the good content that's in here I mean Google is at it again shaking things up September 13th it's got dates in it it's relevant information it's got the uh, the book cover, uh, a link to the customer reviews, and of course I can make that link a live link for me as uh, an Amazon affiliate. It's really, really cool. I mean, everything's about control. You don't have to get to this level of, of messing around with your posts, but you always have the power to do so. So when you need to do a curation that is something as close to an original content feel as possible, you can do that. You can uh, make people believe that you've spent a lot more time on this content than you actually did, which is the whole point of curation. Very, very cool to be able to do this stuff and now be able to monetize within your posts as well as everything that you're doing around your posts um, to monetize, such as attract more subscribers or buyers, customers, and leads. Also notice that you've got SlideShare, Instagram, Wikimedia files, Wikimedia pages. There's tons of really cool stuff. We started out with Google Blogs. And well, we started out with Google Blogs, and that, that was it. And then we've just been adding and adding and adding, and now you've got um, really a lot of stuff. And literally, you can curate the entire web. And why can I say that? Uh, that's because we have a browser. And anywhere you want to go, any, any link that you want to go to, to curate from is fair game. So you pick where you want to go. So wherever you go, whatever you're interested in, whatever you're doing, uh, you can grab stuff and curate from anywhere, anytime. There are no restrictions anymore. If you have any questions whatsoever, always check out curationsoft.com, hit the support tab, and we'll be very happy to help you out with any questions that you have about this, including enterprise versions and licenses for very large organizations.